Well, 43 years after it was first proposed to help ease congestion in Melbourne's southeast, the Dingley Arterial has finally opened to traffic. Known as the Dandenong Bypass, the new road should cut travel times for thousands of drivers. State political reporter Andrew Lund. After decades as a dotted line in the Melways, finally there's an unbroken line of bitumen. It's an important piece of infrastructure because it essentially connects um, all the way now through from South Road um, through to the uh, east of Dandenong. Project director Frank DeSantis was one of the first to drive the length of the new three and a half kilometre road which connects Westall Road with the Dandenong Southern Bypass. Uh, really good, I think the, the, the ride that um the contract has been able to uh, deliver is, is really good. The six lane road was first proposed as a freeway by the Balti government. Today members of the Bailiu government officially opened the $74.6 million project. This Dingley corridor is critical to providing relief for the arterial road network as well as the local road network. It's opened early despite a number of setbacks including major flooding. It's only 12 months or so ago that there were bits of this that were underwater. Initially the road's expected to carry around 25,000 vehicles every day. That's forecast to increase to 45,000 a day by 2030. The government's committed $156 million to extend the arterial through to Warrigal Road. But with the Peninsula Link Freeway due to open early next year, the opposition says it could be doing more. At the moment, the state government's largely just finishing off existing projects which were contracted under the previous government. Andrew Lund, Nine News.